Well, today, if you got an idea where we are, we're at St Luke's in West Baldwin. And we're going to go up to the um, one of the original tin mills, apparently. Have a quick look at that this morning. Mm. Carl just packed our sandwiches. Dogs are here. It's very, very still this morning. It's not far up this track. So not a, not a bad track. It's a bit uneven. actually drive up to it if you wanted. Four by four like. I'm sure the hill focuses up to it. No but I mean if they couldn't walk all the way up here. Not yeah, that it's far. Well an SUV would go up. Yeah. Get the bikes up here. I was thinking that. Mm. Just reading, this is one of four Timwood sites. Really? Mm. St John's being the main one. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got Castle Russian, this one, and um, there's one in Kirk Michael somewhere, which I think I know where it is. I don't know about the Kirk Michael. Yeah. What's um, this one called then? This one is, well, it's several names actually. Uh, so, one, one, of the, one of the names is Killer Bane. Up here? Yeah. All right. And then on another site it says, Crunk Keel Aban. Take a pick, folks. <laughs> Whatever one you like. Yeah, um, Crunk Keel Aban is from the Manx National Heritage page, and the other one's from um, Manx Scenes. So, is there any, what's significant about this particular place up here? Well, it was, it was actually originally a, a Viking meeting point or assembly field, which is what Timwood means. Oh, is it? Yeah, mm. or, like assembly of a uh, meeting point uh, place for parliament, mm. obviously. Yeah, but the Vikings used to meet here, but we don't actually know where the original place is. This was erected in 1929. Yeah, I think this it was. circle. Yeah. But there was like, a, they say there was like a burial mound, but no one can actually pinpoint where it is. But this was last um, last had a meeting, in, I think 1428. Yeah, there is a plaque here. Yeah, it was something about a trial by what? Oh yes. Um, Gosh, what was that bit? <laughs> so at, at this Timwold sitting, the, the record states that trial by combat was abolished. In, in the last sitting? Yeah. All right. Which I think was 1428, was it? That I just said, yeah. Does that apply to Foxdale too, you think? <laughs> The other thing I found about this place, and you probably did as well, is Look it's supposed that. to be the geographical centre of the Isle of Man, isn't it? Oh, I find that quite interesting, because yeah. I always thought that was Timwold Hill. I think a lot of people do. Yeah, so it's actually here. And if you, do, you When you look at it, you think, well, it can't be the centre. Uh, look how the dogs know. they stopped right there. They've been before. They just uh, recognise it's either a gate they've got to jump over or something. <laughs> like oh this way is it <laughs> penny don't get excited not that way you had it first go so we're just approaching the entrance to this um monument i suppose that's what you call it so it's go not too hard just for you over you go Private land, no access beyond the monument. Okay.
<laughs> As you walk along life's journeys, don't forget to turn around and enjoy the view. Who said that? It's a quote that I've always gone by. I found it somewhere. Turn around. Take the camera with you. <laughs> Those lovely rows. Last cut of sows for the year, I reckon. Beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it just? That's pretty cool, isn't it? than the last time when I came here. Is it? Yeah. Does it have an opening? No, you'd have to climb over over there. Okay. So it says, Site of Timwald, Holden at Killabane, 1428. So the keel thing must be the um, the bit that's down at St. Luke's. And the church or somewhere near the church. And the mound, which was around somewhere. It was like a mound, like Timwald Hill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we don't really need to go in there. That just says, don't wreck it. it doesn't have any date on there. No, it's just saying that it's an ancient mon monument, and if you're an idiot and you try and wreck it, you're going to get prosecuted. Likely so. Yep. Some view for Timwald, the winner. If they actually had it up here. Well, I mean, they had their Viking meetings all the way up here as well. So the actual last time this was used about 1500, was it? Yeah. So it was like where they met in smaller groups where all the other sites were, but obviously the big All Island meeting was at the big hill. <laughs> it is one of the prettiest churches in the Isle of Man, I always think. St Luke's of West Baldwin Church. Roxy! Off that little slip is quite easy, really. Yep. Definitely, if you've never been here, it's worth a visit. It is nice, actually. And you know, it's so peaceful today. You it's can't hear a thing, is there? There's oh, no traffic, weird. no noise. I know it's in the sky. There's no planes. No. It's eerie, really, isn't it? The bustle of life we usually have. And it's like it's a... Mm. Like the world stopped today. It wouldn't be that reason, would it? Who would have known? We are a bit sort of for romantics, aren't we? Thought <laughs> hmm. we put these in a different Ash. bag today. Got a shopping bag today, is it? That's me. I'm going to be like a lady bag. A lady bag? It's my lady bag. <laughs> Don't I've you always, borrow in it? I always thought of you as a lady bag, to be fair. <laughs> instead, of, instead of a bag lady. Uh, it it just it's makes a, it sound a bit better, doesn't it? Doesn't it doesn't sound much better, yeah. I'm a lady bag. Well, if you're not aware, folks, I sit outside St Luke's Church. Mm. Been for a walk up to the um, or one of the seats of Tinwald. Discussed that. I suggest you have a walk up there. Wouldn't you think it was worth it? It is actually, yeah, if, you, if you've never seen it before. And the other sites, I don't know where the Kurt Michael one is. No, I don't know about that one either, so. Mm. But, um, as I said, this is supposed to be the centre of the Alaman. I always find that strange, because just over there. central, yeah. Over there, you can just see the sea. You can't see it this way, but. 
greater minds than us have decided this yeah. is the place. Mm. I think the West Bowen Church or St Luke's is still one of the ones that's not shut or locked. And it's a lovely kept church. It's lovely and peaceful. I love coming up here on the bike and sitting here. Yeah, it just gives you peace, doesn't it? Eating my butties and just staring. And the view behind us is just stupendous. It's lovely. And we're in the, within the few days of the Queen's yeah, yeah. death. And it seems very sombre today. Quite strange. Extremely peaceful. That one person should have such an effect on everybody. Mm. Whether you believe in royalty or not, it's irrelevant. I, um, I wonder if she knew about the, the site up there. Had she ever seen it? Well, she'd never seen it. But because the Manx Palms is one of the oldest in the world, I'm sure she would have known about it. Probably. Mm. I think so. More wonders. Yeah. We're lucky to be able to be here, aren't we? Mm. Right then, buddies. Oh, is that my new name? Right bag, then, buddies. Bag lady buddies. Lady bag. Oh, sorry, lady bag. <gasps> well earned. Moniker, I think. Well, uh, that's got to be the nice easy one, like we did the other day. Yeah, we did one on... Douglas a few days ago and that was um, well received because it was shorter. <laughs> not you talking too much. <laughs> not like me, is it? <laughs> mm. My favourite, corned beef sandwich bread. Corned beef and pickle. I'm more of a man than him. Yeah, she is. <gasps> All we do is eat butties, drink tea. We do work, walk it off. We do actually, yeah, or cycle it off nowadays. Mm. Mm. I have to make some more nice banana cake. <clears throat> yeah, if you've been following us, you know I bought an electric bike a few days ago. So Carl is saying to me, we'll go for a gentle ride just for you to get the hang of it. So if you've been out on a bike, she took me up Barnell Lane which is like a vertical cliff. I'm going up and three bikes are coming down and I don't know where to fall out. <laughs> You're still here. I'm still here. It was an electric bike. It's astonishing, to be honest. If you haven't got one, and you're thinking about one, don't hesitate. Turbo mode, you can go up the side of a... Well, you can go up the side of a wall, to be honest with you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's good. I might start making some scones, or scones. Once you do sandwiches. Yeah, but you'd have to just have buttered scone. And you can't, you can't have the rest. I'll have jam on it. I'll have jam. Well, as the weather's changing, we'll need to have a flask on it. Which I suggested hot chocolate, and you still want tea. You know, as long as you've got sugar in. You don't like sugar? Yeah, hot chocolate I do, and coffee. Oh, see, I don't like sugar in hot chocolate because it's got loads of sugar in it. What? Why do you have to be weird? <laughs> this was, we were going to do a chat at the shack, but we think today is a good chat, chance to do a chat up here, so a few of the things that are going to come out in the next few months. We did a long trek to Balamish, the Quite Guru. Carl had got us lost. <laughs> yeah, what? She nearly lost the will. Kept going. Didn't lose the will to live. I did think I was going to perish up there. Did you? In the hills, yeah. It's the worst places to perish. Mm. And we did a footpath along the, to Glen Rushen and the old reservoir. That will be coming out as well. Um, <clears throat> Else we're thinking of doing in the next few months. Mm, I've got Kirk Michael. I've got that bridge at Cramag, still. Yeah, we've got a Cramag, and we're hopefully kind of get the block Erie down. And we've got that to do with, along with the Montepellier. Montepellier. Loads to do. Mm. Finding stuff all the time. 
and um, it's quite good sticking on Facebook. You know, a lot of people malign Facebook and this, this, that, and the other. But for information, you can't beat it. Mm. I mean, we couldn't find the name of a little footpath we went on the other day. Mm. And people come forward and said, "This is footpath. It's called such and such." For that. Deacon's Lane. Deacon's Lane, and mm. people took used it as a shortcut to go from the nunnery to um, Braddon Church. Yeah. I didn't know any of this. I didn't, and I've been up and down that path years and yeah. years. So it was great to have people actually out to it. The 1886 RSS, is that RSS? Yeah, refers to a fellow yeah. called Robert Swan Stevens. Mm. And he had the money, they reckon, put the plaque there for because he, his, him and his wife used to use that to go to church. Mm. So none of that came out. No, no. And well, no, none of this, I haven't seen that written anywhere. No, well, I mean, we did try and Google quite a bit, but also just little things like a guy on there. Oh, I can't remember his name. I was only just speaking to him. Anyway, um, I mentioned about the shop at the end of the road, and he said there used to be a hole in the wall. No. You go through the hole in this wall, and they used to cut through it to get to the shop, which is a, a big, massive old called Tudor houses, like black and white, yeah, yeah. black wood. Yeah, that used to be a shop, which I did say in the video, and I'm sure it was called Molly's, but I don't know if the guy's going to get back to me and tell me. So I'd love to know, because I remember a friend saying that, oh yeah, it's a little shop we used to all go to. It would have been a lovely shop. I mean, I worked in the creek, so obviously it was gone long before I came out. Invaded this territory. Again. You're always annoying birds. <laughs> nice to be remembered for something. <laughs> the ladybug and the bird annoyer. I'll go down the history of that, I reckon. Mm. I have to be a lady something. Why can't I be a bag? Nobody's going to argue with you. <laughs> Old bag. <laughs> How's your buddies? Lovely. Are they? Mm-hmm. I've got um, a chunky pickle on mine. I like the other one. The smaller one. Well, why do you buy the other one? It must have been my moment of madness. <laughs> it's pretty regular, that, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I hear them bees. Must, yeah. be, must be a future tree somewhere. The dogs are in the car and... Obviously, they're not going to be in the church. And whenever we meet, they always sit right in front of us and drool. They're at the back of the uh, boot of the car. They're drooling, probably, staring at us. <laughs> yeah, it's my turn to drool today. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, poor doggy. They've got a good life. They have. I've spoilt them way too much. Hmm. I need to be mean, more like you. You can spoil me all you like, I'm okay with that. I don't want you drooling in front of me, no thanks. I'm behind you. <laughs> it's bake, baking blind day. Mm. I'm going to bake blind for the first time today. There's an achievement if it works. That's another thing I just have to Google. You better explain to people what you mean, because it just sounds like you're going to stand in the kitchen with a blindfold on. No, but this is probably what you're thinking. You're like, I can't wait to see this. A lot of the 
ladies out there and men may know what baking blind means. Or the ones who don't. Well, I'm going to make a quiche and I'm going to bake the pastry first so it's crusty on the bottom. I don't like a soggy bottom, I like a crusty oh, bottom. I, I would like a soggy bottom. <laughs> So it's a bit of an experiment, really. Am I part of that? Mmm. All right. You're the guinea pig. I'm guinea pig. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put... I asked Ray, what would you like in a quiche? And he said eggs. So I thought, well, that's a simple one. That's what you put in a quiche. I know that. I do make them. <laughs> but I thought, of any other flavourings would you like? Tomato. Cheese. And cheese. And smoked bacon. A full meal. Mm. Oh well. 